What is up guys, welcome to another video. As you can see in the title and thumbnail, the KLX is finally getting some big power. But before we get into the video, I want you guys to go to that subscribe button, hit it, get that bell on, because you guys are not gonna wanna miss what's coming for the KLX. Go ahead, I'll wait. Come on, you're still watching. Go down there, click that subscribe button. All right, awesome, thanks. Really means a lot to me, this whole project, everything here on the channel really means a lot, so you guys subscribing, liking the videos, I really appreciate it. We are on the way to 1,000 subscribers, so let's get there. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video and unbox 100 more CCs of raw power. Alright guys, here is the box, here are our two gaskets, this is the crankcase to the cylinder, and then this of course is the head gasket right here. Now drum roll please, here we go, so this right here is the 351 cylinder by Bill Blue himself. As you can see, new sleeved cylinder, water jackets here, and then we got our JE piston. Here it is right here inside the little bag. Right there is the wrist pin. So when did this all start? I think it was about a month and a half ago I made a video with something to the effect about getting the KLX dialed and I needed your guys' help. I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen now. In that video I was trying to get the EJK dialed in, get those settings dialed in, and on top of that dial in the suspension. In that video I actually said that eventually I want to be able to do some cams or something if I get the EJK dialed in properly. Because once I do get this dialed in, I want to see how much room there is for cams and how much fuel I can add. Because if there's enough, I would like to be able to do cams. I also said that I wanted to do a big bore and I considered the 331 because I heard the 351 would not work with an EFI bike because the fueling issues weren't worked out. Because I've heard mixed reviews about the big bore, the 331, whether or not that it'll work with the fuel injection applications and I know the 351 won't work that's the main consensus that I've heard so far then that got me thinking I wonder if somebody got the 351 to work with the EFI so I called up Bill himself well actually I sent him an email he told me to call him and he said that he had a guy coming out he was gonna use his bike, and they were gonna get this 351 to work. So I'm like, all right, well, great. Just made this video saying that, you know, the 351 doesn't work, but here we are. In a few weeks time, the 351 should be good to go, and the kit will be available. So throughout that time, I made videos saying that mods are coming. Can't tell you yet, though. So now on to the title and thumbnail. As the title and thumbnail states, if everything goes as planned, I should have a new mod coming for the KLX. Of course, I can't tell you guys what the mod is yet, because you're going to have to wait for that. But, like I said, if everything goes according to plan, I have some mods coming for the KLX. You guys are going to have to stay tuned, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with what I have coming. But. Of course, the new mods is always exciting, so I figured I would let you guys know. But like I said, I want to make sure everything goes smoothly and according to plan first. Then I also said in other videos that I'm getting parts for the KLX. Besides that, I also have to get some miscellaneous parts for the KLX, some maintenance items at the dealer, so we'll also do that. Well, let's see. That was a bit of a cover-up. I had full intentions to get this 351 big board kit, but didn't know how to announce it. So here we are, 
with the 351 kit in our hands. As you can see right now, I've got the fuel tank off. The EJK is sent off to Dobek to get the 351 flash on it. Of course, the oil is drained out and the coolant has drained out right now, as you guys can see right here. The way things are looking, the big bore should be installed next week once I get my controller back and a couple of other upgrades which you guys will see in the install video but the first ride should be out next week so go ahead and look forward to that be sure to smash that subscribe button right now in order to keep up with this awesome new breakthrough mod for the EFI KLX and of course we will do all of our testing once we get it installed but like I said I'm just waiting on those fuel controller parts and I'll make a separate install video of the big bore itself but yeah let's go ahead and take a look back on some of the Kalex's greatest moments as a stock bore cylinder and maybe a little bit of an edit because I like to make those but I will see you after that happens Alright guys, I know you guys have a lot of questions about this 351 kit. Uh, of course, I just got the kit, so I will be learning some new things as I install it. And like I said, I figured this out about a month and a half ago. I talked to Bill Blue himself. He said that he was developing a kit. Alright guys, as you can see right here, October 14th when I first spoke to him, he's going to meet up with somebody, we're going to put the 351 on the bike and get to tuning with the EJK. Um, said it should take about three weeks, so I'd give him a call about two and a half weeks. So fast forward to the first of November. Said that there was one lean spot that still needed to be taken out, just waiting for the tune to get back. I was curious about the injector and the injector. KLX has enough of it. And so give him a call next week. So that brings us to November 5th, which I have my notes for right here. So got my questions asked them. Said that the big bore was ready to go. So at that point, pretty much the next day, ordered the big bore and here we are now. So I patiently waited a couple weeks and I think it was about a week ago. He told me that the kit was ready to go. So of course I ordered that right away, sent off my fuel controller and yeah, so I've been keeping a secret from you guys for about a month and a half, but I think it was definitely well worth the wait. So of course, if you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. But with that, I think that is all I have to say at the moment. Like I said, I'm gonna be working on getting this big bore installed over the next week and waiting for those parts to come back. But I really can't think of anything else to say. So, I think that is going to end the video. It was probably a little bit of a short one, but just couldn't wait any longer. Had to get this out to you guys. So, of course, give this video a big thumbs up. Just go down there, smash that like button. Make sure that thing is shown blue. Of course, share this video to your friends and those who may enjoy it. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it, especially those with the EFI KLX250. And, of course, be sure to smash that subscribe button, get that bell on. You guys are not going to want to miss what's coming with the KLX, getting this big bore installed. And it also helps the channel out a bunch when you hit that subscribe button. You guys have been showing me a lot of support lately. So thank you guys so much, and I appreciate it greatly. And yeah, we're on the road to a 1,000, so let's get it. So you guys know the drill. With all that being said, join the club, and I'll see you in the next one. Ah! I stand 10 toes down AK-47 with a